What's going on my precious gems? Thank you for tuning in to Channel 4. I'm your host Frosty Cones and welcome back to another Pokemon Duel video you guys. Um, we're out here. We're in the Masters League. We like I'm trying. I'm genuinely trying to get us to Masters League. I mean not Masters, uh, fucking Legends League and it's just not possible so far. It like has not been possible. So many like things have gotten in my way in terms of like time constraints and bad rolls, bad matchups. It's just been, it's been bad. It's been bad and I don't know, I like haven't figured out what I can really do to fix it just yet. So um, my current attempts at fixing it are taking out Hoa. I put in Moltres instead and I know it shows Banette here. I think it's from like maybe one of the mini updates. It's been a while since I've rocked a, an evolving Pokemon on my actual like deck, like on my, like one of my main decks. So uh, I'm guessing that since I have Banette as an option for evolution for Shuppet, that's why we're seeing Banette here. But I mean, I did make Banette an option just in case because I was thinking about it. It would be so cool if we could get uh, not only Fusion Bolt and Fusion Flare uh, game removals from Reshiram and Zekrom, but if we can get Curse removers or removals from Banette. I mean, just think about that. We have three Pokemon that can remove other Pokemon from the game. That, like, th that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Um, I'm stocking up on my Carmenite because I think what I really want to do is really, like, max out the Fusion Bolt and Fusion Flares on Restream and Zekrom. I'm, I got a long ways to go before they reach level 5, but, uh, I mean, I'm, I, that's the only thing I should really save my Carmenite for at this point. Um, but let's go ahead and get ourselves a duel. We're at 2715. If you guys are enjoying the Pokemon Duel content, definitely be sure to leave a like on the video. Comment any goodies you got for the comment section down below, as well as checking out the socials to the left and in the description down below. In my description is my Discord server as well. Um, it looks like we got a Dark team, which is pretty cool. Oh, that's a Band Attack team. That is a Band Attack team. And I know that the lighting is kind of darker. Um, it, for those of you that don't know uh, and don't live in like Texas or just like the south end of the United States, uh, Hurricane Hi Harvey is in full swing. I've actually been Snapchatting it and I'm pointing that way because Snapchat is in the layout. I definitely recommend you guys checking that out uh, for some good entertainment. Um, but yeah, Hurricane Harvey is kind of crazy. Even as I'm looking out right now, it's like kind of stormy, and I figured I just want to get like natural lighting for once. I don't really get a lot of natural lighting in my videos, um, or at least I don't get the chance to get that natural lighting, especially later on in the week when I like don't have a full weekend to really like, uh, to, ooh, I just popped my back, um, to record, is what I was trying to say. So, yeah, this team is kind of scary. This Violet, like, if one of those things hits Roar, like, I almost want to be really sparing with how I use Shuppet. <sighs> yeah, I want to be really careful with how I use Shuppet right now, because, like, if Shuppet gets not, like, all it really takes is for them to land on Roar. Oh my god, now they're plus 30. Not to mention, when that, when one of them evolves into a High Dragon, it's gonna be on, like, Donkey Kong, you guys. It's gonna be crazy. I also wonder if Destiny Bond, like if if he lands on Destiny Bond and I land on Fusion Bolt or Fusion Flare, like will that knock it out? Um, if anyone in the comments knows, then definitely let me know. Because I mean, we did learn last week that a Frozen, um, a Frozen figure. Oh, I also threw Recycle onto my onto my deck. I took out Hurdle Jump. I feel like it's not really necessary because I have two. No. Yeah, I have two Soarers now, and... Ooh! That is a yikes. Like, I am genuinely sorry about that, my friend. Um, yeah, I have two Soarers, and I have Shuppet. I have two other Pokemon that can fly over other figures, and also, please, Shuppet, burn it. I mean... I kind of want to hold, yeah, I want to hold on to, uh, Banette as, or Shuppet as a, I want to hold on to Shuppet right now as a Shuppet, just because of that extra move point, 
Um, and I think that's kind of the beauty of having a evolving Pokemon is that you can just kind of like, you can rely on the figure as it is, or you can take it up to the next level and of course, of course, always when I double chance, but this is also why I decided to pack Recycle between uh, the overdrives and, you know, X attack and double chance, like in goal block especially, like it's really good to get those back. And my, like my main um, plan is to, um, is to like try to like hammer on uh, as much pressure as I can. And we do see a max revive coming down on the ghastly. I should have seen that coming. It's really annoying that it can't be knocked out by, um, fuck. It's really annoying that Ghastly can't be knocked out by surround kills. Cause that just like, it just makes winning with it so free. So like he could just go in between Moltres and Zekrom right now and just be like, hey. Oh, see, and like, I always forget that. You've gotta be. I hate these fucking birds, man. Okay. Holy shit. I was like legitimately triggered for a moment. I really hope that we don't lose. Yes! Get that shit out of here. Get it out. Get it up out. Goodbye. So now he can only have at most three Pokemon on the field after we knock out a second one. So, thank God, I hate, like I I hate Ghastly so much that I feel like I should almost run it, but I feel like when I when I do decide to like actually run it, it's not gonna, it's not gonna work out the way that I want it to. Like most things always happen with games like this where you know, you see like, there's like a certain like, thing or like a certain tech that people pull that like you see happen and like win against you so much but then when you try to use it like Reshiram and uh, Zekrom for example I would get knocked out and removed from game so much but I mean I guess you know I, get, I do get a good couple of like lucky rolls every now and again but like I just I don't know you guys I do not know um and right now, the best chances we have at dealing with this Swilus problem is, uh, is Mew. No, no, not even Mew, is Zapdos. And this is fine that he's using up time because, I mean, like, what, what else? Oh, and actually there is one thing I want to, uh, bring, bring up to you guys and see if anyone else has been like noticing this. Has anyone, and let me know in the comments, has anyone been seeing uh, figures or plates going missing out of random? Because twice now, I have lost my magic harp, and I know that I haven't used it for fusion, and now, I, like, I had a clear weight. I can't remember if I had opened it in a video or not, but like, I do remember saying like on video, like, I have a clear weight, and now I don't have one. So that just completely fucks up my wanting to use it for Reshiram and Zekrom, and it really kind of pisses me off. But I just want to know, like, let me know in the comment section, you guys, like, have you guys run into anything like this where, like, figures or plates have gone missing, or maybe, I don't know, like, I highly doubt that I sold it or sold them or used them for fusion. Like, there's just no way. Like, why would I give up a Magikarp? Why? Why would I give up clear weight, the very thing that would help two of the figures in my main deck to get out on the field? Like, there's no way I would do that. I would be way more careful with it, and it's kind of uh, it's kind of irritating. But honestly, I really do hope that our opponent here times out because I could I could just use some some nice free wins. And honestly, like, is this guy a bot? Because no, no, no. I just see like a a, a Veltal and an Umbreon and just immediately think it's a bot. But there's no uh, there's no Greninja on this map, so that's cool. I honestly didn't even check our opponent's hurdle jump. He had a double hurdle jump. Anyone that runs double hurdle jump just is an asshole. 
Like, I would never run. Like, I have three hurdle jumps. I actually just sold my fourth one. But I have three hurdle jumps, and there's no way. Like, I would not do that because it's just kind of scummy. Like, I get it that, like, maybe, like, if you can't beat them, join them. Like, because it, it is a scummy tech, but look at how many times I've lost to it, I guess is, like, a counter argument. And it's like, if it's winning people that many games, then maybe I should decide to run it myself. Okay, and I'm just now realizing that there is, like, there's no delay on OBS. So, now, basically, or, like, there's no delay in my face cam because the way that this works is that I have to delay my face cam to match the delay with the Elgato. So, I don't, I don't, I don't know if, maybe, maybe like, I know the delay's not that bad from the Elgato, but at the same time, like, it's enough for me to notice, and if I can notice it, then, like, other people can, and I'm really sorry about that. I should have, like, noticed way sooner. Um, but hopefully it doesn't really take away from, from the video too much. But we do have a rainbow booster, uh, on deck, standing by for me to open. Hopefully I can open that, uh, well, actually, after, obviously, I, I finish opening up that blue booster, I will open up the rainbow booster, but hopefully what I'm trying to say is that we get a Megazard X that is on the layout, because I would love, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Like, honestly, I don't even know if I want to, like, I don't think Megas are really worth it, because every time I'm like, oh my god, there's a Mega coming at me, there's like someone with a Mega, oh my god, I'm, I literally just surround it, and it's over. <laughs> like, they Mega evolve, and I'm like, okay. So round kill and this could be really good or this could be really bad but I'm I'm willing I'm willing to use I'm willing to use a double chance on it good get that piece of shit out of here I bet this guy had double hurdle jump did he have double hurdle jump let me see. Let a nigga find out. Nah. Oh. See, and I feel like there's still some, like, growing pains within uh, people that are playing. Bro? Like, I, I'm still, I'm sorry. Like, what were you trying to do? Because, I mean, you can back your Mew up. Ah. Okay. And that's fine because we still have a covered entry point on our opponent. So we're just going to ride this out really quick. Hopefully the Mew doesn't get a knockout on us. Does this guy think he's cute? I think I'll just go ahead and set Reshiram down here. In hindsight, maybe, no. I could have like put it on the other side. Good, 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 good. Good, uh, good, uh, good uh, nay. Um, I could overdrive, but I want to wait. I see that event all creeping. I want to wait till, uh, brrrr, ah. You gotta be so, what you're trying to tell me, Pokemon Duel, is that I should have overdrived. That's dumb. That's kind of, that's actually kind of aggravating. At least we got the Veltal uh, paralyzed, not poisoned. 
Um, he's at a 102 though, that's kind of scary. But let's just go ahead and handle that with our Zapdos. Zapdos is just like the ultimate matchup against a Veltal. Especially my Zapdos against this Veltal. Like, this thing is trash. <laughs> um, oh god, I'm like, now I'm dreading, like, when I'm gonna be doing the editing in, for this video, like, how bad is this, like, delay gonna look? Is it gonna look like. Is it gonna be detrimental? Like, <laughs> am I gonna, like, give up YouTubing after this? Like, what's happening? Here he goes. I knew it. I knew it the second I moved my my restaurant land on fly. Never mind. I'm glad you didn't. I'm glad you actually did not land on fly. You you already used your your max revive. So like there's no way. Sorry, I'm getting really quiet. I'm just like, I'm now like starting to, to get into that serious mode. Kind of like think through my moves a little bit. Oh my god, okay. So obviously that's not the move to, to make. And I see this Metagross coming up. I I'm honestly, I don't know if I'm really like too threatened by it, to be honest. There we go, there's the blue flare. Because now he he has to goal block something. He has to use his goal block. Which I could see him goal blocking with Metagross. For sure. Bro, you literally just threw the game. Bro, I'm sorry. You literally threw the game. You should have, like, he should have. Goal blocked. I feel like goal blocking with Mew would have been his best bet, actually. Because, I mean, Reshram's always going to be hitting o over 100. So. Oh, yeah, now this guy, like, DC'd. Yeah, he's like, I'm done. I'm Alt F4ing my life right now. I am Alt F4ing my life. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and see if this guy, Nando, Nando, uh, forfeits. He should. But, I mean, we could always just, like, scoop up the victory. Or if he's just going to let the timer run out, like, dick. But, huh, there was there was this duel I was having off screen the other day. <laughs> and um, this person had a septile and then a grovile evolving into a septile. And I was just like, you are an asshole. Like, fuck you. <laughs> like, did, you are the scum of the earth. If you, if like... Two things that really like hate me, or that make me hate people in Pokemon Duel, are people with like two or more runners that have double hurdle jump, or people that have a Sceptile that evolves from a Grovile, or just two Sceptiles. Like if you have two Sceptiles, it's like, like why? I don't know. Like I just feel like it's such a. I mean, it's a good figure. That's why I'm saying that. I'm saying it because I don't have it. That's why I'm, like, so upset about it. Now, I feel like we've gotten a good amount of wins in today's video, or at least we got some pretty decent duels. Um, we are past the 20-minute mark. Or coming up on it, at the very least. But I don't... I don't know if I really like want to get into another duel because I feel like it's one of those things again like I always say like you you got to you got to like know when to cut it off cuz when you start getting on that win streak especially on camera commentator's curse it's going to it's going to come through and it's going to bite you in the ass. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and end up in in the video off here. So, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, definitely be sure to leave a like on the video as well as comment any goodies you got for the comment section down below. 
check me out on the socials to the left there in the description as well as at my uh, my Discord link. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Add yourself to the Stash of Gems. And with all that being said, I'm going to get up out of here and bounce you guys. So thank you for tuning in to Channel 4. I'm your host, Frosty Cones, signing off. Peace.